here we are at uh, the Machine Shop Studios and we're recording with William Putney. He's doing our next record, uh, which I believe will be titled Singularity. And uh, the reason we chose that name is because it kind of describes an event or, uh, or an object that's indescribable, kind of like a black hole or uh, something indescribable, a big bang. And uh, we thought that was probably the best metaphor to describe our next album. We wanted it to be something that you can't even put your finger on, something indescribable, something out of this world. And I think the music and the lyrics reflect that greatly um, in regards to writing lyrics on this album. Uh, I can't speak for the rest of the boys, but I am one of those people who believes the world is going through a significant amount of change or a, or a transitional period right now. Uh, and that's sort of what the singularity thing is about. We really don't know what's going to happen in the future. I really don't know what's going to happen in the future. And that's why we chose that name, Singularity. Steve Malak from Wisconsin. This is skateboard. I thought I'd probably die in prison. Expensive tasting women. Ain't had no pot to piss in. Now my kitchen full of dishes. Nose bloody from that sniffing. Yo, heroin addiction. Trigger finger itching. Fuck parental supervision. It's that murder business. Little Timmy got that semi. I ain't kidding. Hide your kittens. Hit your children's with that smith. I want you in it. Uh, more importantly than anything, I wanted this album to really focus on the positive things of life. Um, love, joy, happiness, bliss, all the things that really make life worth living. Um, I don't know where this is from, but I always, I, throughout my life, I've always been told to follow what makes you happy or follow your deepest bliss or your wildest dream. Um, and I think that's always what life was meant to be about. Discoveries was mainly written on Guitar Pro. Um, this one's pretty much just been written like straight into the computer, uh, just using Pro Tools and a little Mbox Mini and Pro Server. Um, yeah, just I don't know, writing from start to finish, rather than putting, you know, going to your archive of riffs and just putting random things together, seeing if they fit. You sort of like custom make the song if you do it from start to finish and it always has like, it always has a, a theme if you do it that way too. So, different approach, different sound. Um, I'd like to say that, uh, no, I wouldn't like to say that. You wanna see something cool? Before um, Northland started to really take off, I was studying marketing and economics at Macquarie University and one of the things I found that really disappointed me in the music industry was the way bands were marketing their releases. I found that it was possible to do a lot more than a lot of bands and labels were trying to do. They weren't really being adventurous and putting much thought into the way they put out their product. They would just announce a release a few months in advance with pre-order packs and maybe a video clip or two and then the record would come out and that would be it. But I found that it might be possible to excite people a little more on this release and try and get them talking about something they didn't really know about. I thought we could do a much better job than just put the release out and just, you know, hope for the best like we've done with Discoveries. Um, I really wanted to do something different this time. We found that 
although the concept for a, a viral campaign was really good, it was also something that was very risky if we didn't have the material to back it up and there was a lot of things that could go wrong too. So to sort of test it out, we released the artwork for the World Eater single with no explanation a few days before we were going to drop that and tried to build, build up a bit of excitement by not really giving away what it was. We found that uh, it worked better than we thought it would and there was lots of people talking about it, sharing it around and discussing what it might be. Most people thought it was an album and it just turned out to be a single. That was the test run for the Singularity campaign and with the way that that was received, we were very confident about what we were going to do. We had it all planned out months in advance with a countdown that would eventually run out and lead to a video clip and when the video clip came out for the lead single for the album, the album would be announced only a month before it was due to come out. I believe overall the album has a really deep sense of mystery about it and wonder and, and uh, a, good, a good exploration of the imagination um, and I'm very proud of the other guys in my band for um, the amount of effort and the amount of uh, musicianship they've shown in regards to this next album. Hi, I'm Stephen Malak, and welcome to uh, Pancake Diaries. Today we got Donatello cooking some pancakes. Don't fucking look at me. Don't fucking look at me. Let's uh, let's have a closer look at what we're using today. We're using a, a bowl with Nicky Fuet Tupperware, and we're using a pan. One of those uh, non-stick. Don't, no don't, turn, don't turn that on yet. We don't have any mix. And we don't. We don't got mix. Turn it off. Turn hey, it off. You're asking about the mix. No mix. Turn it off. It's gonna melt. Make that mix. Turn it off. Hey. You burn the house down. Burn the fucking house down. I can't get this. Bob. I can't get this Donatello. box so low. Fourteen pancakes. You know what? We got six boys and we're talking about games. I'll just use my eye. We want twenty-four eye fucking pancakes. Twenty-four pancakes. How much is How much is yeah, more, more, more. Boy, 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 boy. 